Hi, my name is Frank Eggins, and I'd like to talk to you about the OPERA experiment and the results of the OPERA experiment. Um, the OPERA experiment demonstrated, which was the measurement of the speed of neutrinos traveling from CERN to the OPERA a detector. The OPERA experiment showed that neutrinos traveled faster than the present speed, theoretical speed of light. Um, my hypothesis is that the present theoretical speed of light is an error, and it's an error because it was taken on Earth. And when it was taken on Earth, it was taken in a vacuum. But it, um, and at the time, they didn't realize that dark matter permeated everything. So in fact, the speed of light that we have is not the maximum theoretical speed of light, but the speed of light through dark matter. Now this gives us a very great uh, opportunity to then determine the index of refraction of uh, dark matter and calculate a density and from there we can go on to calculate the mass of uh, galaxies. Um, we can assume that the, the uh, neutrinos uh, traveled at very, very close to the speed of light. So the error that we have is actually the error, uh, it's not really an error, it's actually the, um, uh, gives us the end of ref index of refraction for dark matter. Okay, so basically we end up with an index of refraction of 1.000025 rounded off. Um, that means that basically light, um, the number that they used for the speed of light was wrong uh, and therefore uh, light goes a little bit faster, it's just a slightly faster than neutrino travel. And basically, we have then an experiment that was a tremendous success because it demonstrated uh, dark matter. It gave us the density of dark matter in uh, in our our galaxy. Um, now, also, we can support the fact that the neutrinos traveled uh, just slightly below the speed of light because there was an explosion in the crab. I'm sorry, it wasn't the crab nebula. It was in the uh, Tarantula Nebula, uh, where we saw the supernova light arriving on Earth uh, approximately 160 years later, and very shortly behind that, uh, the neutrino showed up. Now, the, the, this travel time was, I believe, 160 years, so that means that the error is very, very slight, okay? And uh, it really, we're now, to get the true theoretical speed of light, it's only how good was the opera experiment. And my guess is probably these guys did a very good job. Anyway, so congratulations. Uh, they've proved dark matter. We've got an index of refraction. We've got a density. Uh, this is great, great stuff.